So a new stealth model appeared on Open Router. It's called Quasar Alpha. And there's a lot of speculation that this might be GPT-5. But I think I have a different analysis on this. I think it's very likely that this was made by OpenAI and is the open source model that they will be releasing soon. I've done significant testing on this model. And I'll just pull up some of the chats that I had as part of that test. The first thing you do, hey, who made you? And it tells me that it was made by OpenAI. And then I ask it, are you GPT-5? And they say, I'm based on GPT-4. So this has me thinking this is maybe a GPT-4 mini open source model. I then go through and I do a bunch of additional tests with it, a significant amount of tests, uh, both in Rue code and in particular, just chatting with it. And I will say in Rue code, it codes, okay, and I'll pull up a test for that towards the end because that's gonna take a little bit longer. But it does not do a great job editing existing code bases. In fact, I get the errors that occur when I'm using a non-frontier model, the ones that say Rue code uses complex queries and is made for bigger models. The model is fast though. It performs a really high token per second amount. So it also makes me think with OpenAI complaining about how much compute they are constrained, that most likely this isn't a big demanding model because the model would most likely be a lot slower than what we're seeing here. And they wouldn't be giving us 1 million tokens of context if this was a large model. So one other thing that I wanna show you is when I started to ask it about how it compares to its big brother, GPT-4.0, it then tells me that it is GPT-4. It thinks it's GPT-4. But when I test it side by side with GPT-4, I get very different responses. In fact, reasoning questions that I give it, like this one, where I basically give it a bunch of things that it needs to go through and figure out um, the order of things, like which knight is in which tower. It gets it wrong. And I've even tried doing a chain of thought prompt with it, and it also got it wrong. If I put this in GPT-4, it actually got it correct. So I'm thinking this is not a reasoning model. You can tell that by the, the response of it. It seems to be very much a traditional non-reasoning model. It also doesn't seem to be very good at reasoning. One of the things I also do is I ask it about companies. I try, I try to see like how much information does it have about companies. And one company I used to work for is in Sino. I asked it about it and it actually was able to answer what that did. So it had that knowledge. When I asked it about my company, which was founded a few years ago, it does not. The other thing to note here is the knowledge cutoff, according to asking the model, is October of 2023. So who's mainly using the route model right now? My, my, my favorite root code is number one on the leaderboard with 2.32 billion tokens. And then we have Klein there uh, at 1.82 billion. But if this is a local model that I can run on my computer, say in the 32 billion to 70 billion range, 70 billion I can't quite run, but let's just say it's 32 billion. This could be a great addition to my local arsenal. I do predict though, before I jump into this, that this is the open source model that OpenAI will release. I believe it is in the range of 32 billion to 70, to 70 billion parameter model. If it's larger than that, I think that's a problem because I do think this kind of operates on par with models in that range. Um, so it is gonna be interesting to see like where this ultimately lands. For example, if this comes out being a 650 billion parameter model and just this massive thing, that's gonna be rough uh, to be totally honest with you. But I don't think it is because of the context limit and the speed of it. Okay, so this is a test of my current code base. This is a simple one. I've tried more complex ones, but it honestly just doesn't work when you try to use like with like boomerang tasks. It ends up failing out um, with more complex stuff. But for things like this, I'm pretty confident this will work. Uh, so in Open Router, I have the Quasar Alpha selected here. Um, I do still have it rate limited because I'm not sure the limit on the particular model, but I just don't want to deal with, with that. So I'm keeping it at a 10 second rate limit there. And I'm going to fire this off. Now, it is going to be incredibly fast. And we're going to stay in code mode here again. We're not going to do anything super complex. All right, so here it goes. It's actually reading the file. And I usually can resolve that. We'll see if it can do it here in a second. We got another error applying diff. No, that's the same one. Sorry. And then it says it completed. Let's see if it actually did anything. Um, so it imported the view router, use router. And it set it properly. 
kind of jumping over into my dev environment you can see i'm not on that page if i click here and i say i want to go to my demo org it properly navigates us and now we're actually logged into my demo org so it did actually work and it does work really well with root code because of that large context window but anything more complex you will get issues and i'm going to show you some of the historic stuff that i've ran into on that now so here's one that i did this is a subtask because i was trying it in boomerang uh the boomerang mode and so it ended up getting its subtask information here. So you can kind of see the information it was given as part of it. Uh, ultimately, I ended up having to kill it. Like, check what ended up happening here. We sent 4.2 million tokens up. We filled 560K of the context window. And that's mainly because it just kept failing over and over again. Um, and it would reread the file. It would try to merge it in again. It just started looping over and over again. Now, this should have been a very compartmentalized change here. So theoretically, this should have worked like super simply. Like it shouldn't have been that much. It needed to make a very simple change to my sidebar, but it kept just doing it over and over again because it failed. I got a few times I got errors in there. It said, hey, are you sure you want to continue? This is built more for like Claude because it uses complex queries. And ultimately though, it just, it couldn't work. It I tried like this several different ways. I tried rewording it. Now, now to give you some context of what I had it do in Boomerang code, this is sort of how I work, okay? So I go through and I say, all right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to read through, use architect mode. Step one, do this. And then I tell it a bunch of stuff. Step two, do that. Step three, do that. Step four, do that. And I actually even give it like some of the data model that I actually want. Cause you know, I've got more context of the code base. Over time, I would like to automate this part. And then I say, step five, go implement it in. Uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro uh, nailed it 80, 90% running through this sort of uh, outline here where the Quasar model just could not do it. Uh, I could not get it to complete in any way whatsoever. Now, I did also one shot a Asteroid game. So if I were to go and actually run this just to show you what this looks like here, um, I basically said build a fully functioning Asteroid game. It worked really well. So here's the demo here of this. I did this in boomerang mode, so it actually worked. I told it to build a plan and build a fully functioning asteroids game. Now, in this case, it kind of works. I can rotate around. If I move forward at all, it works decently well. I can shoot stuff, but watch what happens when I shoot stuff. It restarts. Something weird goes on when I shoot things. So, But overall, uh, it's not bad because I could take this and iterate on this pretty well. So it has me like super optimistic that this local model could be something that I'm able to use for simple things like I showed you where I just needed to change something. I kick off a little job. Granted, honestly, I'd probably just do that myself. I probably wouldn't use an AI for that, just being totally realistic. But there are sometimes I'm busy and I'm working on something else and I'm just like, go figure out how to do that. And then I'll come back and check it later. So each to their own there. Um, but honestly, it can do, I would say, low to low mid complexity stuff using root code. So pretty optimistic about this being the local model that I think it's going to be. I'm going to be incredibly disheartened if this ends up being GPT-5, which I am willing to bet that it is not. Because if it is, we are going to be very disappointed about GPT-5. Uh, it just does not seem plausible to me in any way. Anyway, that's the first look at the Quasar Alpha model. If you've had a chance to try it out, let me know your thoughts below. Like, what do you think it actually is? My prediction is GPT-4 mini, probably around the 32 to 70 billion parameter mark, which should be extremely cost-effective for us to run as part of our repertoire of coding tools. So super excited about that. And for now, I'm actually going to be using that for light tasks and just to see if I can find any quirks with it. Because overall, when it works, it works decently well. Um, if you made it this far and happen to like content like this, please like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And if you'd want to continue this conversation, join my awesome group in Discord. Man, for those of you that are already in there, just thank you so much. I just can't even say how much it means to me to have a group of you guys to bounce ideas off, hear your opinions on things. And no one is like super aggressive. Like it's the community that I've always wanted to be a part of. So thank you all for being a part of that. If you want to join, the link is in the description below. It's totally free. I'm not doing any sort of like paid membership or anything. All right. Until next time, everyone. Peace out.